Hey guys, and welcome back to True Roots Training. Rose here, personal trainer and lifestyle coach. Today, I wanna to take you through a beginner basic calisthenic workout. Now, the reason I'm choosing calisthenics for a beginner workout is because it is very important to first understand your own body mechanics and how to leverage your own body weight before you start adding load to your system. So I'm gonna take you through three exercises targeting full body, we're gonna work for 30 seconds with a 15 second rest in between. Before we begin, I want you to make sure that you're maintaining beautiful, proper, tall, confident posture. For additional tips on this, watch one of my previous videos that I'll link down below in the description box. Posture check and proper form. Really important to have those basic fundamentals down before you begin any exercise program. Let's start with a quick warm up, beginning with a toe touch leg kick. All right, you're gonna bring that leg out in front of you, reach for those toes, do the best you can. Beautiful. Good, we're stretching those hammies, loosening them up, engaging that core a little bit, warming up. Perfect. Couple more. Awesome, good. We're gonna drive that knee up and raise that arm up. Try to get that arm nice and straight here. Bisecting the ear with the arm. Bring that knee up as high as you can. Warming up those quads, warming up the core. Stretching out those lats and those shoulders. Good, a few more. Keep breathing. Awesome. We're gonna bring those hands together in front. We're gonna kick back with that leg, open up the chest for a fly. Good, you wanna feel this in the groin here. Little butt squeeze. Feeling it in the chest, inside arm, inside shoulder. Keep breathing. Kick and squeeze, kick and squeeze. Perfect. All right, coming forward here a little bit. We're gonna take a big step back. Think like a yoga lunge. Back leg as straight as you can. 90 degree on that front knee, you're gonna sink the hips. Take the opposite arm of that front leg up and over with a shoulder tilt. Good, step it together. Back, sink as low as you're comfortable going. Up and over, together, and repeat. Deep stretch through the abdomen and the groin here, as well as the lat and the shoulder. A little bit in the calf as well, if you press back with that heel. Lovely, let's do a few more. And last one. Perfect, okay, we're ready to begin. Go ahead and find that shoulder width stance, toes are parallel, tall posture. Here we go, take it down. Bring it up, knee drive, across the body, elbow to knee. Try to meet that knee halfway in front of your body to that elbow. Nice and deep in that squat, if you can. Do your best. Just keep breathing. Keep moving, work at your own pace. Don't feel that you need to keep up with me. Awesome, we're gonna turn to the side. Find that hip width stance, tall posture. Soften up those knees, we're gonna hinge. Get ready for those flies. Here we go, raise it up, opening wide to the side, 
retracting, squeezing those shoulder blades right here. Squeeze at the top. Really rigid through the back of the leg here, up into the glutes. Spine is neutral, neck is neutral, core engaged. Keep breathing. For five, three, two, one, and back up. Good, we're gonna come down, take your time. Coming down, find that tabletop position, shoulders stacked over the wrist, hips over the knees. Your spine is neutral, not rounding, not collapsing. Here we go. Neck is neutral as well. You're not dropping that head. Hold your head up. Arms and legs are straight. Squeeze the shoulders, squeeze the glute. Core working, back working. You're stable and controlled. Again, working at your own pace here. Beautiful. 30 second rest. Good opportunity to have a sip of water. Wipe your face with your towel or just take some deep breaths. Really important to stay hydrated. Here we go, coming back up. Find your position for that squat. I'm gonna go to the side here so you can see that form. Toes parallel, tall posture. Little tip, I like to bring my elbows to the tops of the knees. That way I know my posture is in check and my knees are in a safe position as I load down. Working the quads and the core here as we drive up. Little twist in that spine. Keep breathing, a few more seconds. Rest, good. Find that position, hip width stance. Pressure in the heels, soft knees. Tall posture. Hinge forward, prepare for that back fly. Here we go. Fire it up, let's go. Keep breathing. Rigid through the back of those legs. Squeezing those shoulder blades together at the top. Core bracing, drawing in. Spine remains neutral, neck is neutral. Keep that neutral gaze out in front of you. Burning, burning in the backs of those legs. All right, we're coming down. Tabletop position on your mat. Hands and knees, shoulder width apart or uh, hip width apart is good too. So long as you're stable through that movement. Keep breathing, inhale up, exhale together. Controlled, fluid movement, squeeze at the top, core engaged throughout. Good, 30 second rest, and then we have one more round through. You can do it, grab some water, Wipe your face, breathe some air, it's free. And get ready. For the beginning squat to knee drive position, here we go. Toes parallel, tall posture. Drop it down, drive it up. Drop it down, drive it up. Don't forget to breathe. Beautiful, good. Elbows to the tops of the knees. Optional, keep the body in check. Beautiful, working on some balance here when you raise that leg up. Keep moving, keep breathing. Awesome, good, turning to the side for that deadlift, hold, back fly. Get ready. Soften those knees, begin that hinge, pull back with those hips, and fly. Squeeze.
squeezing at the top, rigid through the back of the leg, burning, embrace the burn. It pays off later. Keep breathing, keep moving here. We got 10 seconds. We're almost done, almost to the end. We're waking up those muscles. We're getting some mobility work in. Core work, full body, all the good stuff. Tabletop position down on your mat. Neutral spine, neutral neck. Activate that core, get ready to raise it up. Here we go. Straight arm, straight leg. Squeeze at the top, that shoulder, your glute, your back muscles. Navel drawn in the whole time. So we protect that low back throughout this movement. Breathe and work for five, four, three, two, one. Take a rest. Go ahead and take those knees wide. Drop the hips back over the heels. Extend those arms out in front. Take some deep breaths. Be grateful for the hard work your body has done for you. Take in that oxygen to relieve those muscles. We're gonna take it to the left here. Deep stretch for that right arm, right lat. Keep breathing. This is your time. Take it to the right to reflect. Relax. Recenter. Appreciate that you're done. The hard work is over. Let's go back to center. We're going to take it up onto the hands and knees, tabletop position. We're going to round, exhale for some cat cows. Around the back, exhale. Feel that stretch through the shoulders and the back. And inhale, collapse. One more time, tuck and round. between the arms. Do your best to press those heels back behind you. Deep stretch through the lats, the back, and the back of the legs. Well deserved. We're going to walk those feet toward the hands as far as you can. Roll it up nice and slow. a quad stretch to the side here good pulling the heel to the bum if you're having trouble with balance a little tip imagine there's a bar stool next to you that you're resting your hand on to stabilize there's something about that visual that works 
All right, and then back to the side just so you see this stretch. Make sure your knee is not coming behind you, nor is it in front of you. You want those knees lined up and you want those hips tucked. No arching in that low back. Also a little tip, if you squeeze your butt cheek of the leg you're stretching, it's gonna release that groin nice and deep. Awesome, let's go ahead and switch. If you need, find that bar stool for that visual to help stabilize. Squeeze that butt cheek to release the groin. Perfect. And release down. I'm gonna take it across, hook it, pull it for a shoulder. Your neck is long. So we're not elevating in that shoulder here. We want space between ear and shoulder, swan neck, tall posture. And we're gonna switch. Again, shoulder is depressed away from the ear. Nice long neck, tall, confident posture. We're going to take the hands behind the back, interlace those fingers, extend those arms long behind you and straight. Depress those shoulders, opening the chest and inside shoulder. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Again, you're mindful of that hip position. We're not sticking those hips behind us. We're not tucking them too far forward either. Nice and neutral. all done you guys great job i'm so proud of you for doing this workout with me today i hope this has been very helpful for you in helping you to understand your body and where your starting point might be for more awesome fitness videos like this don't forget to like and subscribe to my tribe thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time